Welcome everyone. I'm Sue with Yoga Awakening and today I have a really special class for you based on the seven main chakras. Chakras are the energy centers within our body and we have thousands of these energy centers but seven main that run up and down our spinal column. So I'm going to be going into detail as we flow through class today and if you'd like to know more about the chakra system you can check out Anadeya Judith's book called The Wheels of Life. So with that, um, you're, we're going to need to have the music to accompany the class. So you'll see in the description below the YouTube video, um, you can click on the Spotify link to accompany class today. All right, let's begin. Here we go. Settle into your mindful seat. Lengthen through the body. Draw your shoulders onto the back. And we'll begin with the first chakra, Muladhara, the root chakra. And the element is earth, located at the bowl, the pelvic floor, the perineum, coccyx area. So begin to draw your awareness there and feel like you're blowing up balloons at the bowl, the pelvic floor. Feel that breath low and deep. And now bring your thumb and index finger together and point down in front of the navel center and inhale through the nose and exhale, make a shh sound with the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, shh. Making the exhale two to three times as long as the inhale. As you inhale, imagine drawing up the warmth from the earth. Imagine the very core, the very center of the earth, that hot molten lava. Draw that warmth into your body. Place yourself in nature. And imagine the color red. Red is the color that relates to the root chakra. Imagine the color red swirling, vibrating at the bowl of the pelvic floor. Feel that deep connection to Mother Earth. Feel the connection to all those things of nature, all the creatures of nature, the animals, the birds, the plants. The people in your lives, past and present, Continue to make that exhale twice as long as the inhale. Soften through the body. Let that breath soften you. Internally repeat the mantra, I am always safe, rooted, and grounded from the center of my being. I am always safe, rooted, and grounded from the center of my being. Imagine roots growing down from your tailbone down deep into the earth. And 
And now come back to your natural breath. Bring your hands to your knees. And begin to make circles with your torso. And then move in the other direction. One more time, other way. And reverse. Back to neutral spine. Move your rib cage from right to left. Hands on your knees. slowly make our way up to child's pose. Feel rooted, grounded in your child's pose. Become like a rock in nature. Feel the stillness of that rock. And then find your way up to all fours and come onto your forearms. And begin a cat cow, a little more rooted today, a little closer to the earth. Imagine roots growing down from the palms of your hands, from your legs. I am always safe, rooted, and grounded from the center of my being. I am always safe, rooted, grounded from the center of my being. Color red, swirling, vibrating. And what does that feel like in your body when you give to your breath the color red? Bring your palms to the earth now. Press the mat away, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Lift it up to downward facing dog. Continue to feel those roots growing down from your hands and your feet and come high onto your toes. Inhale. Exhale, heels to the earth. Inhale, toes. Exhale, heels. Walk your feet to your hands. Feel the earth. And then inhale, open halfway. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale, open halfway. Exhale, bow. And now moving your fingers as you reach up to the sky like a summer breeze. Take a little stretch here as you rise up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, second chakra, here we go. We flow with the rhythm of life. Begin to listen to the, that flowing music and bring your feet a little wider apart and begin to just move through the hips. Second chakra is located below the navel center. You can bring your hands right below the navel. And just close your eyes here. No one's watching you. This is the creative center. So feel and begin to sense the water in your body. The water is the element of the second chakra, Svadhisthana. I flow with the rhythm of life. The color is orange. Give that color orange to your breath. And let's bring our feet together. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway open. 
come to all fours. Bring out your inner gorilla, inner animal as you just move the body in any way. You're like a buoy in the ocean. Second chakra, Svadhisthana. I flow with the rhythm of life. I flow with the rhythm of life. Lift it up, downward dog. You can take a little dance into your dog. Pedal out through your feet, move your hips. Shake your head. And now bring your knees, bring your heels to the right, bend your knees. Look underneath your left armpit and take a little bounce here. And then bring your heels over to the left. Look underneath your right armpit, give a little bounce. And now in your own time, just go back and forth, heels to the right and left with a bounce. Sense that color orange. Really feel the body as though it had no skeletal system. Release, soften through every muscle. And stretch it back, downward facing dog, come to the top of a push up. Lower knees, chest, chin, come to cobra. Take a little movement through the hips here. Press through the palms, draw your shoulders back, keep those shoulders moving, hips moving. And lower back to the earth. Turn your toes under, lift it up to downward dog. Extend your right leg, bend the knee, make big circles with your right hip. And then switch sides. So do you flow with the rhythm of life? Whatever comes your way, good or bad, going with the flow, not reacting. Both feet on the earth, pedal out through your feet. Walk or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold. Open halfway. Step or float it back. Chaturanga. Dancing cobra. And exhale back. Downward facing dog. Step or float the feet to the hands. Open halfway. Exhale, bow. Reach for the sky and bring your hands to heart center. Bring your hands to your solar plexus above the navel center. The third chakra, Manipura, located at the solar plexus. The color is yellow. The element is fire, so get ready to build some heat. Here we go. Come to chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring the weight into your heels. Hips back, lift up through the shoulders. Begin to sense that fire, that power, that strength within. Sink it an inch deeper. Sink it an inch deeper. Reach your arms to the sky. And now let the rays of the sun swing those arms over to the right and center and left. Keep going. Manipura, the third chakra element is fire. So let's begin to build some heat. There are days when we just feel like we have no strength, no power within. Frustrated, disappointed. We forget that power that's always within us. 
Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway open. Come to downward dog. Pedal out through your feet. Bring a little bit of that water element back into the body. And then come forward, high plank. Hold your plank. Draw in through your core. Biceps forward. I stand strong in my personal power. I stand strong in my personal power. Let's bring a little water element in here and take circles with your hips. And go the other direction. And let's slowly lower a quarter of the way, half the way, three quarters. Can you hover? Can you give me a smile? Come to Cobra. And exhale back, downward dog. Pedal out through your feet. Step and float the feet to the hands. Inhale, open halfway. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Draw your hands to heart center. Bring your right, left elbow to your right knee. Press the palms towards the center of the chest. And then open up earth to sky. Bring your palms back together. Ground down through your right foot. You're mirroring me. Extend your left leg back. Open up earth to sky again. And then lift up the torso, keep the legs where they are. Extend the arms forward and back. Take that twist, lengthen through the spine. And now cartwheel the hands all the way around, warrior two. Right foot is forward. Power strong. Become that warrior, sink it an inch deeper. Is your front thigh parallel? to the mat, reverse warrior, back to warrior two, cartwheel the hands around, high plank, hold your plank, slowly lower quarter of the way, half the way, three quarters, can you hover, give me a smile as you come up, and exhale back, down dog. Step or flip the feet to the hands. Open halfway. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Take your right elbow to your left knee now. Press the palms towards the center of the chest. I stand in my personal power. Draw in through your core. Open up your arms. Hands back together, ground down through your right foot, extend the uh, left foot, extend the right leg back, press the palms towards the center of the chest, and open up earth to sky. Keeping the feet as they are, lift up through the torso, extend the arms forward and back, press through that back heel, keep building heat, and then circle the arms around warrior two. Gaze beyond that middle finger, like you're staring at your target. What is your goal? What is your purpose? Cartwheel the hands around, high plank. Lower quarter of the way, half the way, three quarters, hover. Cobra. Exhale back, down dog. Step or flip the feet to the hands. Inhale, open halfway. Exhale, bow. Back to chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring a little water element into our chair as we move our hips down, floating down, down, down to the earth. Hug your shins, hug your knees into the chest. Bring your head to your knees. Come back to that earth element. Become a very still rock. Extend 
Extend your legs long. Continue to build that heat. Fire element, Manipura Chakra, located at the solar plexus. Lift up, exhale lower, palms facing up. Inhale, lift, exhale lower. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Let's roll right onto our backs. Roll up and down on the spine. All right, you're gonna get lots of momentum here. Maybe find your way to stand without your hands. There we go. No worries, use your hands if you need to. All right, let's ground down through our left foot. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Hug your right knee into the chest. Staying right here, begin to take a little pulse in that left knee. Next step, if you can, crisscross your hands and continue that pulse. Next step, maybe extend that leg long, pulsing through that left knee. Ground down through that left foot, let go of the hands, point your toes, arms to the sky. Fly your way back, warrior three. Fly your way forward. And back. And right foot meets the left. All right, other side. Ground up for your right foot, ball the left. Hug that left knee into the chest. Either stay right here, take a little pulse in that right knee. Next step, crisscross your hands. Stay here, or final step, extend that leg long. All right, extending that leg, reach your arms to the sky. Warrior three. And forward. And back. And forward. Left foot meets the right. Inhale up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway open. Step or floated back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Cobra or up dog. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Take a full inhale. Full exhale. Inhale, exhale, come on to your knees, sit back on your heels, and bring your hands to your heart. Begin to become aware of the space of the heart, the fourth chakra, Anahata. This is the place of compassion, of love for ourselves and for others. So let's just begin with a little love and kindness for ourselves and internally repeat the Buddhist loving kindness blessing. May I be happy. May I be free from pain and suffering. May I be peaceful and full of bliss. May I be happy. May I be free from pain and suffering. May I be peaceful and full of bliss. Let's bring our hands beside our waist and begin to lift up. Sit bones off the heels, broaden through the chest. Breathe into the heart space. And exhale, lower. Begin to continue to lift and lower. The color of the fourth chakra, Anahata, is green. Vermilion green. 
representing peace, tranquility, peace of nature. Come up to stand on your knees. Bring your right foot forward, you're mirroring me. And then cactus pose your hands. Lengthen out of the hips, lengthen through the sides of the body. Bring your left hand behind your head, right hand down your back leg, down your left leg. And even more, draw that left elbow back. Open into the heart space. Give to your breath the color green and feel that vibration of the color green at the heart. Slowly come up and we'll switch sides. Bring your left foot forward, right hand behind your head. Lengthen. We did goal pose first, if you wish. Elbows forward, palms away. And then right hand behind your head, left hand down that leg. Open that right elbow to the side. And slowly come back up. Full Ustrasana camel pose. Goal post your hands, lengthen through the sides of the body. Bringing your hands to your back pockets, elbows drawing towards each other. And then hands maybe to your ankles or keep them in your back pockets. The mantra for the fourth chakra is, I open my heart to all with unconditional love. I open my heart to all with unconditional love. Keep Opening, expanding through the heart. Can you go a little deeper? A little bend through the elbows, broaden through the chest. The element is air. Slowly lift back up. Sit back on your heels. Bring your hands back to your heart space. Open my heart to all with unconditional love. Let's find our way to a seat. Interlace your fingers, bring them underneath your chin. And we're going to lift our chin up to the sky as we draw our elbows towards each other and then extend the elbows back out to the side. Inhale, exhale. Continue here. This brings us to the fifth chakra, the Shuddha, located at the throat. The color is blue. Imagine blue swirling at the space of the throat. The element is space. Internally, repeat the mantra, I follow and speak my truth. I follow and speak my truth. Release the hands back to the knees. We're going to lift it up to all fours and come to puppy dog pose. Anahatasana, this is a heart opener and a throat opener. Hips right above the knees. Can you extend your arms long and come onto your chin? 
maybe even closer onto your throat. If you choose to join me, maybe begin to hum or sing OM. Extending out to the periphery, to your fingers, to your toes. Mm. Mm. Slowly lift back up. Come to a seat. Deeper into a throat opening as we come to fish pose. Make a diamond shape with your thumb and index finger. Bring it underneath your hips and then come onto your forearms. Lift up through the chest. Can you come on to the crown of your head? Fish pose, Matsyasana. I follow and speak my truth. I follow and speak my truth. Very slowly, make your way back up. Find your mindful seat, keep the eyes closed. Bring your peace fingers to your third eye. Thumb to the right nostril, inhale through the left. Place your ring finger on the left nostril, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right nostril. Close both nostrils. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left nostril. Close both nostrils. Hold for as long as you can. Exhale through the right. Inhale right. Close both nostrils, hold for as long as you can. Exhale through the left. Continue holding for as long as you can in between each inhale and exhale. And not worrying about the pattern, but just more focusing on the third eye. Bring all your awareness to the third eye. This is the sixth chakra, Agnya. The color is indigo. Imagine that swirling, vibrating color of indigo at the third eye. This is the place where Shiva and Shakti sit, that balance of sun and moon. Focus all your attention right here. Swirling, vibrating color of indigo. Imagine drawing all the elements up right into the third eye, the earth, 
the water, the fire, the air, the space, all the elements right at the third eye. I follow my wisdom, the path of truth. I follow my wisdom, the path of truth. Sense all the elements of your body right at the third eye, earth, water, fire, air, ether, space. I follow my wisdom, the path of truth. Slowly release the hand back to the thigh, moving as slowly, slowly as you can, like a sloth. We're going to take an inversion, either rabbit pose or a headstand, anything you choose. We'll begin with rabbit pose. Bring your knees together like a child's pose with your knees together. Bring your hands to your heels. Palms are down. Press the heels away with your palms as you come more onto the crown of your head, hips right above the knees. Focus all of your attention. So if you have, choose a headstand, you may go there, I'm gonna stay here. Draw all of your awareness above the crown of the head. and feel and sense the vibrating energy of the color violet. And this color violet transmutes into thousands and thousands and thousands of crystalline white petals. See in your mind's eye thousands of crystalline petals radiating out from the crown of your head. Connecting to all that's beyond, all that's within and without. Feel that oneness with all that is, all creation. all that's past, all that's present, even the future, become one and sense that divine essence. A greater power, whatever that means for you, the greater power connects me to all that I do. The greater power connects me to all that I do. Very slowly come out of your inversion, take a child's pose just for a moment. And let's find our way back to a seat. Touch your hands upon the earth. 
I am always peaceful, rooted, and grounded at the center of my being. Bring your hands below the navel center. I flow with the rhythm of life. Bring your hands higher to the solar plexus. I stand in my personal power, placing the hands upon the heart. I open my heart to all with unconditional love, bringing the hands up to the throat. I follow and speak my truth. Hands at the third eye. I follow my wisdom, the path of truth and bring your hands facing up beyond a higher power connects me to all that I do. I follow the path of the universe. Let's bring our hands back to our knees. Just sit in this space for another moment. Bring our hands together at heart center. And we'll close all together with the collective energy of Om. Let's take a deep inhale.